It is so great to see our children for children's message today. How many of you guys know what this is? If you guessed a calendar, you are correct. We use our calendars to tell us what year it is, what month, what day it is. And some of us use our calendars to mark the important dates in our lives. I know that I personally like to circle my birthday, and some of you might as well. So we like to circle our birthdays, our anniversaries, or birthdays of our family members, or other important dates that we need to remember. And as we flip through the calendar into a new month, we can see what day is coming, what important day might be approaching us. I want to show you another calendar. This is an advent calendar, and I love using an advent calendar with our children. They usually get the ones that with chocolate. So each day in the month of December, on the first day of December, we would open up number one, and then they would look at their chocolate that they would receive. It would be in a shape relating to the stories of Jesus. So they might open up one of the days and see that there's a sheep. And we can talk about the story of the shepherds and the sheep in the Bible. And I love being able to talk about the nativity story throughout the month of December with our children. The word Advent, it means the arrival of someone or some event. Today is the first Sunday of Advent. And we have four Sundays of Advent before the week of Christmas. And if you look here, we have an Advent wreath with four candles around and one in the center. And in the season of Advent, we are preparing our hearts and minds to receive Jesus as the newborn king, as a baby, as Emmanuel, God with us. And today, in our text from Mark chapter 13, we hear another story of Jesus. You now Jesus lived on the earth, and then he taught people, and he died and rose again. And before he went up into heaven, he shared these words with those disciples. He said, Keep alert, for you do not know when I, Jesus, will return again. Not even the angels will know the time or the day when Jesus will return. And so the verse in Mark chapter 13 reminds us, you know, as we wait for Christmas, we also should be waiting for Jesus to come again. And in waiting, we should always be prepared. We should prepare our hearts to receive God in our hearts. And we should love our friends and family members just as God has loved us. And we should serve other people who are in need. We should also help heal other people just as Jesus had done. These are the things that we can do each and every day just as Jesus had taught us to do. And I invite you as we move along in the season of Advent to wait not only for a baby to be born, but to wait for Jesus to come again to give us our eternal life with him. Let us go to God in prayer. Holy and loving God, on this first Sunday of Advent, we give you thanks for teaching us this story. And may we prepare our hearts and minds each and every day to receive you, Jesus Christ, who is born on Christmas Day, but beyond that, for your coming again. May we go and serve other people so that they may get to know your love for them and us. And it is in the name of Jesus Christ we pray. Amen.